how do I believe in God? Was, I guess, the main question I'm looking at. How, me, if I was a non-Christian, how is it that I have to believe in God? Well, you have to first accept that there is a God. That you are beneath Him. And He's the one who speaks to you in your head. That's right, it does. And it's whether you want to listen or, or not. You know, do you want to follow the path of righteousness that Jesus walked, which is where he comes into the big picture, right? Because, well, God as we know, well, he was, he didn't care. He, was, he had a certain specific path that you needed to follow, a dogma that you needed to follow in order to be righteous in his judgment. Well, Jesus came along and changed all that. <clears throat> so, the Holy Trinity, we have to believe that the Word of God is in the, is in the, the Bible, but people misunderstand God, because God is in your consciousness has given you the reason for thought for a higher power. So, once you understand that the stuff that's given to you here in your brain, because we all have special designations as people, not all of us are good at everything. Not, we can't do everything in our lifetime. So, in order to be a a uh, special agent of God, so to speak, you have to follow with the gifts that you're given, which is also encompasses the happiness in your heart. In order to be happy and healthy in mind and soul, you have to be able to do something you go to work and make money with by doing something that you really love and enjoy doing. Otherwise, you will despise going to work and you will work harder to take your mind off of work by doing sinful things that take away from the gifts that God gave you. Are you following me? This is kind of hard for me to put together because while well, I've got some certain, <laughs> well, I got gifts too, they're just not all good. Uh, like a pestering cat the power of 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 satan is really strong i mean he wants you not to think for yourself he wants to uh, keep you away from thinking what you need to think okay which is when god says you need to get closer to him well these things of satan that are, drive you away from the thought okay the, the music, the entertainment, the TV, the things that, that suck all the money that you work for, that you enslave yourself for, you need to feed that environment that you cannot have in your brain because Satan has taken you over. It's when you're allowed to listen to what God tells you. The reason why people seek solace in order to recommune with God because God's not an easy thing to listen to. Satan's really powerful. He can draw you away in a lickety split. Now you got to stay away from all that stuff that pulls you away from that inner thought where you can just sit there and watch TV and just be blinded by whatever's going on, totally ignoring everything that's in here. You understand? These things that come to you in your brain, the things when you ask yourself a question, there are answers there. You can choose to listen to them, choose to ignore them, choose to listen to them, choose to ignore them, whichever you want to do. Okay? They both have the same voice, the inner voice. Satan and God, they both talk to you. But 
recommuning yourself with the godly things the godly things that re that come up in your brain right what can i do today what did we do as children way back when when we didn't have but three channels and atari i mean atari came out and all of a sudden bango bongo zippo bangy see ya there went the American consciousness into the deviation, full deviation from your inner mind. The things that you went out and strived to go play with. Well, mine was, you know, I grew up in the mountains in Washington State. I went out and played in the mountains and swimmed in the creek and the crawdads and built dams. And, boy, I wish I'd known about gold back then. Boy, I'd been a rich man. <laughs> Whoo! Things that you love to do. If I had known about the love of gold that I have now, the, the experience of just finding it out there, laying on the ground. Whew, boy, that's a powerful experience. That's a recommuning with God. It's going out there and working and finding something worth value. That's there. You got to go look for it. Just like you got to look for God. You have to be able to accept within your own humility you have to be able to accept that god is far greater than you will ever be than anybody will ever be i think combination of everybody god's still greater so uh, if you're looking for direction in your life do something that you love do something that you enjoy because if you just work after the almighty dollar, every piece of Satan is going to work and take it away from you. Oh, look, a cool car. You know, rad. Let's jump your insurance rates and uh, change your brain into a different sense of theory where you all of a sudden are more concentrated on egotistical fanatic attitude than hmm, a humble attitude God only wants you if you want him does that make any sense because I mean, he's not gonna chase after you if you don't want him I mean, if you're not fully vested in him and his spirit Okay, you have to be totally and completely vested and knowledge, knowing that the difference between the good stuff and the bad stuff. I can give you a small example of the good stuff and the bad stuff. You know, how is it that you've only got a finite amount of time? You've got maybe 50 years to do anything. There ain't a 50 years of hard work and hard labor. You're going to want to buy stuff, buy more registration, buy more taxes, buy more insurance, uh, put yourself in an upper echelon, say you buy a boat, and now you got to be in a yacht club, you got to pay a mooring fee, you got to pay fuel, you got to invest your time into towing the thing around. Yeah, oh, wow, wait, come on now. Think about it. How much that how much of that money do you really need to waste? Yeah, waste. I mean, why we? It's hard to come by money. Yeah, it is. People are fighting to have fifteen dollar an hour wages just so they can still be they can still have their taxes taken out, but they still gotta pay for Obamacare. And then they gotta pay for their car and their and now they're gonna make more money so now they're gonna be able to get a get a buy a car that's decent and well they'll be paying pay money on insurance and high because you got to have full full insurance coverage on a new car that's right until you pay it off yeah that's an added cost that nobody realizes so uh, you know it's getting harder and harder to live in the world with all these things that are distracting our minds from doing things little bitty cell phones oh wow look how cool they are the bend fit right to my wrist 
I can take it anywhere I want. Do, 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 do. And just totally forget everything else that's going on around you. There's important stuff going on in the world. You want to believe in God. He's there. All you got to do is go, hey, wow. God talks to me. He gives me answers. He gives me problems to solve. Mm -hmm. I got to work on use my own brain, use his own power in a teamwork situation. Don't be all super duper about yourself and think you know it all because, wow, we, when you stop and think about it, there's stuff that really you don't listen to. You just kind of push them out of the way. Yep, that's the God. Mm -hmm. The stuff that you just barely hear on the outside. The real positive things you're trying to get through into your mind and your soul. You just don't want to listen to them because, oh, there's something more interesting to do. <laughs> Play video game, watch TV, uh, go for a drive, waste gas, and not concentrate on things that are around you, your family, your the the things that you have, your home. I mean, you you know when you when you buy something, aren't you supposed to take care of it? Isn't that the godly thing to do? To take care of it, so well you don't have to throw it away and buy another one. Yeah, it's hard to do that in this today's world. Yep, Satan's growing stronger and stronger every day. You guys have a good day. I'm out of here.